Headed back to the buggy now. Bit of a walk. No gold here. We uh, hunted for a little while. We're, like I said, we're crumb chasing. Close to home. Too hot to go too far out in the desert. So we're just kind of hitting old beat up patches and having a little fun in the sun. We're going to hop in the buggy and go down the road here a little bit. Got another spot down here. It's well worth checking out. I've been there before too, but uh, there could be another little piece laying there for us. Really nice day. It's getting a little windy out here. I don't know how bad this is going to mess up this camera. I've not used it before. It's only the second time I've used it. It's a Canon R800. Nice darn camera. This little wash down here was just worked like crazy by the old timers. I call this my Three Amigos patch. Why do I call it Three Amigos? Watch. One, two, three, right in a row. And I use that for years to be able to find this again. But if you notice, we're on bedrock again here. See it poking through there, the purplish stuff. And we've got quartz, we got pegmatite, we got ironstone, we got greenstone. We got everything that I like to see at San Domingo in the gravels. And the ground's mighty hot here. I mean mineralized hot. Gold monsters, I'm having to keep it balanced constantly to be able to work this stuff. <clears throat> it's a pretty cool area. And there's three, three baby amigos, but I think one of them's gonna die. It's been chewed up by the rats. And we got Tammy's down there in the in the wash. Nice view from here. Nice area. Hopefully we'll get a couple little nuggets out of here. If not, we still had a wonderful day out in the desert. Three amigos. Having to move incredibly slow here to keep in balance. <laughs> That's a cold rock. This ground is horribly hot here. We're in uh, auto one. Okay, we're hunting in deep. About a half a battery left. But uh, these settings seem to work best in this really hot crap. Keeps me balanced. You gotta work really slow. Keep it balanced. A lot of noise here. Most detectors couldn't even think about working this. My pulse induction machine has a horrible time. A little bit of a blurp there. Whoa. I'm thinking it's probably just a little hot rock on the surface by the look of it. Hot rock right there. This is how it reacts to a hot rock. Pretty much all to the left. Tells me it's that rock right there. Move it over here. Hit it again. Nope, not that rock. So we go back here.
That little black hot rock right down there. But I move very slow. I get them noises, I pump a little, keep it in balance. Now this one's going both ways, left and right. But I'm guessing, again, it's going to be a hot rock. Rebalance real quick. Gone. That rock right there. Can't get it kicked over there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Piece of hmm. Interesting. Get the scoop. Let's see if we can't locate it. There. It's right there. Right there. Still don't have it. Hmm. Be this one? No. Nope. Oh, I got this camera all over the place. It's a hot rock for sure. I'm guessing maybe this one now. Yep, that's it. This is a piece of ironized volcanic stuff. Noisy. So our flowers are in bloom. Well, actually, they've bloomed, and that's the fruit. Actually, pretty good to eat. Now, this is what you look for out here. Surely you can see all the metamorphic material in here. There's schist. Okay, there's the greenstone I talk about all the time. The soil here is orange to red. You see the iron stain on the rocks over here. This is what you look for at San Domingo. All right. Just because we haven't found any gold yet today doesn't mean it's not here. It just means we haven't found it. All right. This little wash was dry wash. You can see the remainder of the piles down there. Beautiful country. Beautiful. Tammy's down here digging a target. She just may have a nugget finally. Another BB. We dug a lot of BBs. Hey, so much for crumb chasing today. I think we're probably about done. It's starting to get hot. So, we'll put her around working our way back to the truck. Still fun. One thing's for sure, we got some cool plants here. That's a uh, barrel cactus. 
jojoba bush behind it. The hobo jojoba makes uh, seeds, nuts, that you can uh, eat, or the Indians used to eat too. And it's actually an appetite suppressant, so when you're low on food, you eat the jojoba beans and you don't feel hungry. That's a hedgehog cactus. Don't want to step into that one. You see Choya in the distance there. Different species of Choya here. And dry wash tailings. But unfortunately, there aren't any nuggets in those dry wash tailings. At least not for us today. I guess we take it for granted sometimes how cool this desert is if you haven't seen it. This is what they call the jumping choya. These little guys right here fall right off. Stick to animals, stick to people. That's how it reproduces it. Then that piece will fall on the ground and root and create a new cactus. Arizona. Something folks need to get used to if you're going to be metal detecting a lot is uh, it's really nice if you like to explore because we sure spend a lot of time just exploring and not finding gold. This area has been hunted before, so we had the advantage of knowing there might be some gold left here. We've hunted it pretty hard in the past. So all the easy stuff's pretty much gone. I'm sure there's still some gold here, but we just couldn't get ourselves into it today. We're gonna go back to the buggy up here and probably head back in. Call it a day. That's a big saguaro right there. Old. They all have fruit on them, like I showed earlier. I'd probably get down a piece and eat it. Show you what it looks like, but they're too high and I don't have a pole. The Indians used to take long poles or sticks out of the dead saguaro skeletons so they could reach up and pull them off, make them hit the ground and pick them up and take them home and eat them. They also used to make a, a juice out of them and let it ferment. Happy juice. Yeah, right, well for now it's not gonna shoot her out unless we find something cool on the way back, but no gold today. But that's part of what, what happens when you gold hunt. You can't expect to get gold every time out. And once you accept that fact and understand it's not as easy as the folks that post nothing but nuggets being found every time they go out, it's just not that way, folks. It's just not that way. But the thing is, you learn every time you go out. You learn something new. You learn a new spot. <laughs> and... Uh, Sometimes you learn there's no gold in the spot that you're at. That's what we found out today. Back at you later. Tammy working on one more target. Could it be? Now the signal's weird. Huh. Kind of sounding like a hot rock for her, I think. Probably, but it was sounding.
doing good. Because now it's being weird. So, I don't know. I don't know. Well, this one turned out to be a hot rock, I think. I don't know. I don't know. It sounded good in the beginning. We're done. I think we're going to hop in the buggy and go someplace cooler. Still a fun day in beautiful country. Folks, if you've never been to the desert, put it on your bucket list. Took a piece of fruit off the saguaro here. Pretty cool stuff. It's all edible. It's pretty heavy. Dark thing weighs about a quarter pound. <laughs> Not really. It's an ounce or two though. Sticky. Animals depend on this out here. Indians used to depend on it. It's not bad eating. A lot of seeds in there. And they turn into these great big cactus. Look at all the fruit up there. Amazing. This is where a dry land dredge by the name of Geraldine worked. You can see the piles. These are all tailings piles from that dry land dredge. They were scraping the whole hillsides here. There's Tammy climbing up the hill. Yeah, I'll zoom in on her here. Hi, Tammy. Whoa. Big piles. They worked this area real hard back in the day. This is another little spot we pulled a lot of little gold out. Just tore up. Down she goes. But this was back in the 20s and 30s, I believe, maybe the 30s and 40s. And they worked a lot of dirt in here. As you can see, they scraped everything right down to the caliche, the false bedrock. All the washers, the hillsides, they are taking a dozer and just pushing this stuff down into the valley here and then scooping it up with a loader and running it through that big dry land dredge. Pretty amazing. A lot of history here, a lot of history.